This is the Euro Trip. I'm Elliot Harris, and UMK is the Finnish national selection for Eurovision. And I'm with one of the acts, one of the 18 acts, and the youngest in the selection, if I'm correct. It is yeah. Attention 2. It's time to go, go, ready for the show, show, had enough of no, no, ready for the show. Well, firstly, UMK, how do you actually pronounce that? Because no one in England can really say it well. Well, I can't. I can't speak a word Finnish. And it's just <laughs> so how, how is it actually pronounced in your native language, shall we say? <laughs> uh, well, actually, uh, well, yeah. yeah. Uuden musiikin kilpailu, so UMK. Okay. UMK. <laughs> <laughs> I will practice that. Hard. I will practice that for if you go to Eurovision. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, obviously you're both 16, so for being so young, uh, when did you both start singing then? Well, well we've been singing our whole lives, um, but, um, well, this whole duet started uh, this spring, or actually last year's spring. Yeah, we've been singing our whole lives, but we really started, like, singing together, like, properly when we were about 12. Yes. Okay. So... Okay. Obviously, you've been singing your whole lives and stuff, and so you must have done like singing competitions and whatnot and all that when you were younger. Did you ever compete against each other or anything like that in singing competitions or not? Even if it's just in school? Um, no, no, we never <laughs> attended any any competitions, but we've done musicals together. So you're quite well rounded then, because obviously you've done musicals, which is a lot of theatre and dramatics, whereas yeah, really yeah. Ready for the Show is quite the opposite of that, actually. It's very upbeat. It's very it's very empowering, I would say, like with the lyrics. So he said, um, I'm strong enough to go on my own. I don't, technically, I don't need to listen to anyone. I can take responsibility for myself. That's very adult for two 16 year olds. So, how did that come about, that song? Is that your idea? Or did someone approach you with it? What actually happened? Um, well, we haven't done our song. Uh, we have uh, Henna Helaswa and Lasse Turunen. Uh, they have made our song. But, but we yeah. had like subjects we wanted to okay. talk about in our songs. And one of then was like we want to make kind of empowering song that uh, tells about you know our story of it and something that people can relate to <laughs> so you would say it's relatable to like your situation now and whatnot like you are like ready to take the independence well obviously you are because you're ready to represent your country it looks like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes and i think it's for because you know, in the song we say it's time to go, go, ready for the show, and it's not a show um, completely. It can be something like um, like a hard obstacle in your life that you just have to go for. Show is just really like something you're aiming towards. Then it's not so like yeah, play yeah. a show. It's just something yeah. you can relate to yourself. Okay. Emily wants to know um, what was your reaction when you heard that you were through to UMK? Like when you were one of the eighteen selected, what was your reaction? <laughs> oh, well, there's a video. Uh, in our Twitter uh, uh, from Nina, she, uh, I, uh, actually the Hari who uh, told us, uh, she rang me first and I came home from school and uh, I was pouring milk uh, and I just didn't realize that he was about to tell me that because they told me we hadn't like interviewed before that and they told us that, um, well about two weeks and then you will know, hmm. seven days after the interview. So I was thinking, oh, well, I don't think it's about, you know, that they were going to tell us that are we in or are we not. Uh, it was like, I was thinking they maybe ask like details or something like that. I just never uh, waiting to Nina t uh, to come home from school. And Nina <laughs> just like screamed. Uh, I screamed and I cried a lot. So, <laughs> uh, so very positive, Ben. <laughs> yeah, 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 very definitely, positive. Definitely. Uh, what would you say um, the attitude towards your vision is in Finland? Like, what what is it like on the ground there? Like, oh, it's I think it's a big thing. I think yeah, it's yeah a we big have thing. like people that really go excited about your vision. I think there is a certain group in our country that just are completely like your vision fans. But every but I think a lot of Finns they watch the national. I I think they watch the final like the whole yeah. Eurovision Song Contest. They don't watch Uamgo that much, but they do watch the Eurovision. Yeah. So but like this but, year we have more popular names in Uamgo. Yes. Uh, so I think it's also gonna affect that there's gonna be more people to watch it. Yes, this I year. think so too. But I think it, yeah, there's certain amounts of people who watch a lot of um. Oh, I'm cool, but uh, more like they watched the final then. Yeah. 
in your music video for Ready for the Show, it's all very like comic book based. I noticed, like with the yeah. sort of like the different squares and all the backgrounds and the um sort of yeah. writing used. Is that your sort of interpretation for the staging as well? Are we going to see similarities of that on stage in the semi-final and hopefully the final? Uh, <laughs> it's a secret <laughs> what is happening in the semi-final. So. <laughs> okay. uh, I think the energy is the same, you know. you know. In in Ready for the Show, the music video, we have quite a lot of that um, the energy and let's go and do this and this. So we have the same in our live shows. I but think that don't. Maybe we can tell that we don't have the superhero theme theme at all. <laughs> because it would be quite hard to actually do <laughs> do yeah. like because it was a lot of jumping and kicking and in one go we should just like sing live of course <laughs> it would be really <laughs> difficult to do it. <laughs> yeah. So obviously Finland's in the years I've been watching Eurovision has always been a standout nation in the shows whether it's the final or the semi final because obviously in 2013 you had Krista with her with her wedding dress. Yeah. You had PKN last year who are very yeah. different. 2011 with little Os Paradise Oscar. Mm. Do you think Finland could again be a standout in Stockholm, like regardless of who goes? Yes, I think what Uamgo is um I mean what they are trying to um to do every year is to bring something different. And I think that shows uh in every year that there is a lot of different acts. Uh, and this year, it's definitely a possibility to have something different again. So, yeah. and wh whoever gets picked, I think it will be a standout, you know, yeah. performance. <laughs> um, going on from that, um, we also want to know, taking your song out of UMK, what is your favorite song in selection? Like, who are you most excited to see that you? It's also your competition. <laughs> oh, that's actually. A good question because I'm a fan of all of them. To be honest, yeah. I really like I really like all of them. They're awesome people. Um, what we are most excited about? There's songs that I really like. Yes, me too. I think Sandia Sing It Away is probably one yeah. of the what I'm most excited about. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go I mean, with. I don't know. I think they all are going like, to be so, so amazing. <laughs> all of the people are so sweet. They're so nice. We were like really scared when we first saw them that they're gonna be like, oh, little children came here too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but they were really nice and they were like genuinely really excited to see us and it was a really nice thing. So it's really hard to say, but yeah. I really liked Mikael Sade when he was like, uh, not like. 2013, uh, when she was uh, he, he was at Uemko, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I really liked him. So I guess I'm a bit excited about his performance more than the others because um, I was a big fan of his, mm -hmm. and when I first saw him, I actually started crying. <laughs> <laughs> but and it was really embarrassing because like I didn't realize that he, he was him, so I was there like. Oh my god, and who are you? Who are you? And then I started crying and, and I said that I really like you. Um, obviously, one of the pre um, presenters this year is Krista, who also has competed in 2013, but she's also competing in Melody Festival. And how has that kind of been gone down in Finland? Because obviously, she represented Finland only three years ago, but she's now potentially going to be representing Sweden, but she's also hosting in Finland for your yeah. selection. So, was that a bit confusing when all that news broke or? Or was it just pure excitement at that stage? <laughs> I mean, people are really excited about that. I yeah. mean, all that I've read, people are like, wow, this is amazing. Like, she's doing this. And I, for me, personally, I'm really excited for yeah, her I... to do it. Because, like, just I really yeah. liked Marry Me back then. And I, I, I'm, I'm excited for her. And I think other fans are too. Yeah, of course, it was a bit confusing at first. But um, I think people still support and support her and are really excited to see what she'll bring to Melody Festival. <laughs> obviously this year also marks the 10th 10 year anniversary since Lordy won, um, <laughs> obviously for Finland, and obviously Scandinavia has been quite successful. Um, do you think Finland can win again this year? Do you think they've got a good chance? Do you think you could even win the whole thing? Oh, <laughs> definitely it's possible. Definitely it's possible and <laughs> definitely we could win. No, no but uh, I think um, I think it's a definitely a possibility and we just have that, you know, 
mindset that we want to win this year again because it's been 10 years since Lorne won so um, I think also like Finnish people are more strict this year yeah they're like well we should pick something really, really good, good this th- year that will win again because yeah. not only like 10 you know yeah. 10 years ago that Lorne won it's the 15th, 15th time, time that Finland actually is in attended Europe. to Eurovision. Oh, okay. So, so it's a big thing here right now. Everybody's yeah. like, we need to pick a good song right now. <laughs> yeah. And do you think it's important that Finland do well, considering PKN sadly didn't qualify for the final last year, and it's in yeah. Sweden this year, so your neighbours? Do you think it, there's more of an impact in Eurovision this year within Finland because it is a fellow Scandinavian nation hosting, and Finland didn't make the final last year? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I think so, but I think Finland will, like, they'll do their own thing and they'll just try to put the best act out there. And, you know, I think what I've been reading a lot of, you know, articles about this and some people, they have said that don't do the same mistake this year that we did last year. But, um, <laughs> you know, so I think, you know, Finns yeah. are very strict, but... um. We'll try to do our best. <laughs> so, if you were to go to Eurovision, if you do win the whole national selection and you are sent to Stockholm, what is the one thing you would have to take with you? Like, what's the one thing you both could not live without for two weeks in Sweden? <laughs> oh, that's hard one. <laughs> Salmiaki. Salmiaki. Finnish Salmiaki, but I think salted licorice. Salted licorice. <laughs> it's um, so good. <laughs> and I don't. I think they sell that in Sweden. But it's not as good as the Finnish. <laughs> I think the one thing that I can't live without is like, I think it's my own pillow because it makes me feel like home. So I yeah. think I have to bring that with me. You see, so you follow Eurovision, hence why you've entered to represent Eurovision. What is your favorite Eurovision act over the years that you've watched in years gone by? <laughs> Uh, oh, oh god, that is, not, I'm not... so scared of this question because we are Eurovision fans, fans and I have so many favorites during the years, it's so hard to pick one. I think are one like Conchita Wurst, Conchita Wurst. The, like, right, she's like, a queen. She was and amazing. Yeah, yeah. she is <laughs> amazing. And the whole yeah. performance. The whole amazing. performance, it was just so amazing and I really liked, Um, I don't remember what year it was, but Ukraine, I think they had Gaitana. You be my oh, guest. 2012 in Baku yeah, with the big yeah, fringy, I, p- yeah, like orange, yeah, white I, dress I, even. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was like really excited. I I, I really liked the She's song. Like, na, 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 na. <laughs> I just really liked the song, and it, and I, it's a song that I still come back to when I, you know, when I get the Eurovision vibe, I just go back to that song because I really liked it. I can't pronounce it. Um, Mon- 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 love. <laughs> I'll accept any, because there's so many different ways the British <laughs> yeah, public say but, their name, so. <laughs> yeah, but and I, it was really good. Yeah, and I also have like weird favorites, like uh, 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 Dancing Lhasa Dumbai, <laughs> it's like really good. I think uh, and, Eurovision uh, fan loves that. It's like hard name to pronounce, but the Babushki party for everybody, the, Nana's from Russia. Five songs have already been confirmed for Eurovision this year. Have you heard the songs at all? Like any of the five? And if so, do you have any favourites from the five so far? <laughs> I haven't heard them actually yet. <laughs> yeah, me <laughs> either. Because we've been so busy with this, yeah. so we haven't had the time to listen to them. But I've seen tweets. Yeah, me too. Like uh, people talking about them, so. Okay. I should probably listen to are them. Are they any good? <laughs> Um, there's a few that are good. Uh, my favourite at the minute would probably be Malta's song. So obviously, on I've seen a lot of comments on your video as well saying it's more suited for junior Eurovision than actual Eurovision. Would you? Uh, how would? You, how does that make you feel? Like obviously, the Finnish public support you, or they, they put you in the show. So do you think it is Eurovision worthy? The fact it's not, you know, for kids. Do you think it is? It can compete with the, say, the Conchita's first style songs within the contest. Um. The thing is that people are quite strict for young people while they do music and I think young artists are like, they're definitely like, people are more strict to them because they're like, they're too young, they should wait for two years, we're we're like really excited and we want to like go there right now <laughs> and I mean of course, um, but um, I think we think that we're ready. For the show. Last year, there was quite a lot of 16, 17 year olds who entered yeah. the contest. So we had Molly Sterling from Ireland, Nadal yeah. from 
che um, Israel's only 16, so there's yeah. quite a few. So does that make you feel more comfortable and confident that people who are 16 and 17 have been able to go to Eurovision, do well, you know, yeah. some make the finals? Does that give you confidence that you can yeah, stand definitely, out? Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, like, there's a lot of people who go like, yeah, you should go, definitely, because you're young. It will be a standout for you, because, you know, there is not like last year there was and it has been but not that much still in finland yeah in yeah finland. in finland there is like no chance that this age of people could go to europe with some some kind i mean there is a chance this year <laughs> but it's like it's a bit like you know people are quite skeptical about you know about the young age and they're like oh they can't do this and you know i don't know but we're but people have been to uh, telling about a lot that you should go to Euro Eurovision Song Contest, but we're too old for that. <laughs> and also, like, we don't have that, that in Finland, Finland so. so we can't go. <laughs> so that is a problem here. <laughs> it's, actually, it's a bit of a shame that at Eurovision it's confirmed that Mons is, ho is hosting and you're such a fan. So if you would go, how do you think you would, like, how, how do you think you'd cope being around Mons, like, last year's winner? Like, oh. being there with him. <laughs> oh, that would be lovely. Like, <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. But <laughs> we are, like, really awkward people around <laughs> celebrities, definitely. And, like, moms, we really liked him. Like, we really, we liked uh, heroes. Um, So, but it would be great, though. Yeah, it would yeah, be really yeah, great. But really we would awesome. be like, oh, my God, there is a <laughs> 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 Also this week, um, the semi-finals were done for Eurovision, and it came out that if you Finland will be competing in the first half of the first semi-final, just thinking ahead, how would that make you feel, the fact you would be on quite early in the first semi-final? Would it be nice to get it out of the way and enjoy the rest of the show, or would you think you needed more time to prepare yourself, or do you think you'd be ready just to go out there, potentially opening Eurovision 2016? <sighs> that is a hard question as well. Um, it's sometimes easy just to go there, like just go with go, the flow, you know. Yeah. Or sometimes it's even better to watch. So and uh, kind of like just you know practice more and you know. But I think you know we'll do our best. We'll do what we yeah. can, and hopefully that's enough for to get us to the Eurovision. So. <laughs> The last few years has been sort of a running theme where the winner of the year before has ended up doing some sort of presenting. So if Finland were to win with Ready for the Show, would you consider ever doing, presenting your vision in 2017 as a duo in the green room or just alongside someone? Would that be something you'd like to do? <laughs> yes, that would be so great. Oh, <laughs> that would be so awesome. I'd love to be the host. Yeah. <laughs> would be brilliant hosts. <laughs> So um, with UMK, obviously there's always a bit of a bit, a bit few different acts and whatnot and all this. So, and also you said about the diversity in this year's selection. Uh, how do you think you'll be able to stand out then? Because it is so diverse and there's like no, for example, say set genre ever in UMK. How do you mm. think you can do, for example, what Opera Scarlet did last year and make herself stand out in a field of things that are so diverse? How, what do you think you can do just to put yourself that little bit higher and get yourself to the final? I think we, you know, because we're young, we have the energy, and um, and and uh, if we do good, um, I think people will see see that as a really positive thing because, you know, they they don't have so high ex higher high expectations for us because we're still new artists. I just think we have a lot, to, you know, we to are show, yeah, lot to show and lot to give. So I. I hope that's that's enough. <laughs> I... So obviously, as well as well as the slight negativity about you being a bit young, you've also had a lot of positivity about your yeah. about your song about it being like yeah. sweet, upbeat, catchy. And how does that make you feel? Like there are people literally around Europe who are really engaged and loving your song, and some actually wanting to win and represent Finland. How does that make you feel? <laughs> um, that is so sweet. I mean, I think. We get we get really excited about the positive yeah. comments. Like every time when somebody just says, "Oh, this is kind of good," we go, like, "Yeah!" Oh, <laughs> we, we just literally every time we just scream, "Somebody likes us!" And, you know, it's just it's just so amazing, and it just uh, it just 
it just shows that people really support and it supports us and it just it means so 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 much to us so yeah it's oh and everyone are so sweet so it's just it's amazing the mad die hard eurovision fans who watch all the selections they always do like the little ratings and stuff and they put them online for people to yes. see have you seen any of the umk ratings to see where you're put by them or do you or do you just ignore it all and just wait uh, for the show yeah. to happen? Yes, we We've seen, yeah, yeah, we've seen some of them, yeah, and we're kind of like, there's a lot of opinions about us. Yes, I think there is a lot. Yeah, there's some a lot. people put us like, you know, they should. to the top five, to the top five, and some people put us to the uh, bottom five, bottom yes. five, and you know, like, it's just so like, it shares a, lo- a, a lot, lot of opinions. opinions, our song and us, <laughs> um. <laughs> um but yeah, I hope we can just, you know, just make people like us and love us. But yeah, we just really hope that people would would yeah. like us. <laughs> so going on what you personally would like to achieve, what would you like to achieve in your MK? Is it just to do a good performance, make the final, make the top three of the final? What does Attention To want to achieve from your MK? Like what do they want to get out of it? We just want to leave like a, like a mark to your recent history and potentially win the whole yeah, we just you know yeah. we just want to you know give be a, remembered, be also, remembered like, and give a piece of like us to Finland's music um, industry industry hopefully. <laughs> so that that's just like the main deal for us basically. Yeah. And like whatever happens in Wamco, I think we're very proud what we yeah we we what we've achieved already. And also, you both said you're both still in school. How are you juggling school and getting ready for this? And what does your school think about two of their students are competing in one of the biggest things in Finnish TV? In it's been quite hard. Yeah, but like we enjoy every minute of it. Yeah, it's <laughs> been hard, but you know we can manage. You know we're good at school, so it's. You know we can manage, and uh, everyone in school are just really supportive, and our teachers and our teachers are going crazy literally <laughs> every day. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're just really happy to be in such great environment, to be honest. And outside of school, this might be a tough question, but like, who do you think your biggest fan is? Like, who is like, who's going to be there with the attention to banners at, in, in at the selections? Do you think is it mum and dad? Are they like the biggest fans, or uh, <laughs> I think I think. Our grandma, Ma. she is like Ma. the biggest fan. <laughs> She's like, I'll, I'll vote every money I have for you. And, and like, like she always like when we write something to Facebook, uh, on our like uh, attention to, she always like shares it and everything. She sometimes writes us text messages like, I'm so I, proud of you. I'm so proud of you. And like, <laughs> oh, I just read this thing and it was so nice. And like, she's really excited. Yeah. And she's also a big Eurovision fan. Aww. So it's a big thing for her also because she's always like, uh, been like, oh, that would be so nice if you would attend to Eurovision Song Contest. And now we're kind of doing it. So she's really excited. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say, uh, have you got anything you'd like actually like to say to anyone who has been so positive for attention to? Like any words of like thanks to anyone, be it in Finland, England, Ireland, like any words you'd like to say to anyone who will see this? Oh, just a huge thank you to everyone who has been so great and supportive to us. And we're just, just saying like nice things. Like, yeah, just, you're really good or something. And it doesn't, you know, when people write comments, like good comments, it just... For us, it doesn't have to be like, oh my god, you're so amazing. Just like being supportive and being there is just like number one to us. So thank you for everybody who has been supporting us. It's just amazing. <laughs> well, good luck, girls. I honestly thank hope the best for you. Uh, which semi final is it you are in just so the public knowing they can make sure they tune in? Uh, we're at the second semi final, so uh, 13 of. February. Okay, and if they want to get in contact with you, like they want to keep up with attention to, how will they do that on social media? Like, ha- where can we find you on social media? On okay. Facebook, you can, you know, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, just anywhere. And Snapchat. And Snapchat, just like anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, girls. Really appreciate you taking thank the time you. for us. And the whole of the Eurotrip thanks you for letting us have this time as well. And best of luck in Finland. I will be cheering you on all the way. Aww, best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.